we have discussed about the rectifiers in the previous video that is capable of converting alternating current into dc current but basically the rectifiers without filter cannot convert the actual entire ac into dc so there will be some component of ac in the output also that means output will not contain the pure dc but also it contains some component of ac and we call that component of ac present in the output of the rectifier is called as the ripple factor so basically the ripple factor is the the value of ac component present in the output of the rectifier so this is defined as the ratio of rms value of ac component to the the pure dc component present in the rectifier output so this is called as the ripple factor so this is the ratio of rms value of ac component in the output divided by the value of the dc component in the output so that is represented mathematically by iac divided by idc so this is actually the rms value of ac component present in the output the output current in the rectifier so it contains both dc and ac component the output is not pure dc and that can be obtained by taking the filters that is not discussed here we'll try to derive the expression for ripple factor for both half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier let us see that by the definition the effective value of total load current that is the output current that will contain both ac and dc component so that the total rms current i rms is given by this expression where i rms square will be equal to i dc square plus i ac square so it contains both dc current and ac current so usually we will not take the direct sum instead of that we will take the i rms square will be is equal to square of dc current and square of ac current suppose you want to calculate the value of i rms that is the output current that will be square root of i dc square plus i ac square suppose you try to find out what is the expression for i ac that is the ac component present in the output that will be is equal to square root of i rms square minus i dc square where i rms is the rms is the total rms current i dc is the dc component in the output suppose you divide this equation by i dc that will give you i ac divided by i dc in the left hand side on the right hand side you will get 1 by i dc into square root of i rms square minus i dc square now take this i dc inside the square root so this will become square root of i dc square the first term becomes i rms square divided by i dc square minus i dc square divided by i dc square that will be equal to 1 so this i ac divided by i dc will be is equal to square root of i rms square divided by i dc square minus 1 what is this ratio this is the ratio of ac component to the dc component that itself is called as the ripple factor i ac divided by i dc is called as ripple factor so therefore the expression for ripple factor is given by square root of the total i rms square divided by i dc square minus 1 so this decides or this expression gives you the ripple factor that is the ac component present in the output of the rectifier so let us calculate the ripple factor for half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier first let us take the half wave rectifier what is the average dc output current in the half wave rectifier that is given by im by pi where im is the peak current only half cycle is converted into dc here now the ac component is given by i rms equal to im by 2 peak current divided by 2 because of only half cycle which is going to be converted into ac now you substitute this i dc and i rms in the formula of ripple factor expression of the ripple factor that is given by square root of 
I R M S square divided by I D C square minus one. What is R I R M S here? It is I M by two. Substitute here, and I D C is I M by pi. Substituting, and if you simplify it, I M square I M square gets cancelled. You will get square root of pi square divided by four minus one. Substitute for pi and calculate the ripple factor, and you will get ripple factor equal to one point two one. Okay. So that is the AC component present in the output. So if you take percentage of AC, it will be 121%. That means compared to the DC component, the AC component is 1.21 times greater. Otherwise, 1.21 times of DC is the ripple factor. So that means the percentage of AC is more compared to the component. Percentage of the DC in the output, so it is clear that AC component exceeds the DC component in the output half output of the half wave rectifier. So DC component is greater compared to the AC component. That's why compared to the DC component, that's why it is not suggested for the pure rectification because the ripple factor, the AC component, is more. Let us calculate the ripple factor for full wave rectifier. Now, for full wave rectifier, the average DC output current is 2 I m by pi. I DC is equal to 2 I m by pi because both the cycles are converted into DC. That is the reason why the factor 2 appearing here. What is the AC component? It is I m by root 2 because full wave is converted into DC. That's why the I RMS value is I m divided by root 2, where I m is the peak current. Now substitute for the expression for the ripple factor, it will be I m by root 2, that is I R m s divided by I d c square is 2 I m by pi minus 1. So substitute and simplify it, you will get the square root of pi square divided by 8 minus 1. Okay, if you calculate that, the ripple factor will be 0 0.48. That means only 48% of the output is AC. Basically, ripple factor is the AC component present in the output. If you take percentage value, 48% of the AC component is present in the output. So it shows that the output of full wave rectifier, the DC component is more than the AC component. So for this reason, the full wave rectifier is used for the conversion of AC into DC. So, 48% is the AC component. So, we have seen that the ripple factor for the half wave rectifier is 1.21, whereas the ripple factor for the full wave rectifier is 0 0.48. So, this is about the ripple factor of the rectifiers.